dear students in previous video from this chapter you have studied about the different types of chrome, uh, cell division the difference between mitosis and meiosis and now in this class uh, or this video we are going to study the uh, particular type of cell division that is mitosis mitosis mitos term word is used for thread that is mitos means thread means the chromosome will divide into chromatids that is the thread like structure and their division takes place mitosis now if you have to if you have to write short notes on mitosis then from the previous topic in which we have used the difference between mitosis and meiosis if you take all the points of mitosis side and write them in a paragraph you will have a short notes on mitosis explaining the different aspects of it now we are going to start with mitosis cell division every type of cell division is completed into two stages karyokinesis and cytokinesis karyo for nucleus means the division of nucleus then what is karyokinesis somewhere or some uh, in at some places you will find the nuclear changes taking place no but we will say the nuclear changes taking place resulting in division of two daughter nuclei is called karyokinesis and second is the cytokinesis that is in first part the nucleus divide and then the cytoplasm divide as a result the daughter cells are formed so now here it completes into mitosis as we have studied here that is it will also it will take place in somatic cells in uh, animals this cell division takes place in every part of the body causing uh, re growth repair replacement of the worn out uh, old cells and uh, might, uh, in plants it takes place in growing regions only that is at the tip of root and shoot or in cambium which helps in increasing girth now mitosis completes in it completes in two stages two stages first karyokinesis karyokinesis that is the nuclear changes nuclear changes resulting in resulting in division of division of nucleus is called karyokinesis is called karyokinesis and the second is cytokinesis cytokinesis that is the diffusion of cytoplasm producing producing two daughter cells two daughter cells so these are the two stages now we will start with the karyokinesis in which the major changes has take has to take place now first part the karyokinesis karyokinesis as uh, we have discussed it in this phase nuclear changes will take place and as a result two daughter nuclei will be formed now it completes in it completes into four sub stages four sub stages now what are these these sub stages are 
प्रोफेज मेटाफेज एनाफेज एंड टीलोफेज टीलोफेज नाउ विल स्टार्ट वन बाय वन स्टूडेंट्स इफ यूल स्टडी ऑल दीज फेजेज इन अ सिस्टमेटिक वे इन अ सिक्वेंस देन इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू अबाउट इट्स डिफरेंट पॉइंट एंड यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर ऑल द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू सेल डिविजन ना एज द नेम सजेस्ट प्रो फेज प्रो मीन्स फर्स्ट बिगनिंग so this is the first phase of cytokaryokinesis in which the cell after interphase that is from the resting phase when it has been matured completely it has duplicated chromatids now here the changes will start we have studied that is in animal cell it is the centrosome which initiates cell division so what happens during this phase now just remember you will be able to learn it uh, more clearly if you will see in simple terms there is no complexity don't go for complex points now like you see what are the changes taking place so first of all we will write here the some changes taking place here and then i will explain it with the help of diagram now first pro phase yani the first phase first of all centrosome divides centrosome divides into two centrioles centrosome divides into two centrioles as you know centrosome is a clear space in uh, cytoplasm near the nucleus in which there are two bundles like a structures called centrioles so centrosome divides into two centrioles duplicated centrioles which start to migrate towards opposite poles that is from one side it start to migrate towards the opposite ends so centrosome divides into two centrioles which start to migrate towards opposite poles opposite poles this is the beginning this is why we say centrosome initiate cell division this is the beginning now then as a second change the chromatin fibers we have studied earlier that in a normal cell there are simple elongated coiled thread like structures called chromatin fibers but during this phase they start to coil condense and shorten and change into visible chromosome so the term chromosome is used at the time of cell division in general now so next change chromatin fibers chromatin fibers coil condense and shortens to change to change into chromosomes that is condensing of chromatin fiber take place now the chromosomes will be visible to us next change now as a next change you see that around the centrioles some radiating rays like structures develop that is called esters or astral rays as well as 
joining the two centrioles fiber like structures are formed that is called a spindle fibers and a spindle fibers are formed from micro tubules and micro filaments these are a small non living structures cell inclusions in the cytoplasm now so uh, that is or nucleus so here you see that is esters also termed as astral ridge and a spindle fibers are formed form so again remember astral rays are the radiating rays like structure forming around the centrioles and a spindle fiber the fiber like structure joining the two centrioles are called a spindle fibers now at the end of prophase nucleolus and nuclear membrane nucleolus and nuclear membrane gradually disappear gradually disappear and hence the chromosomes are now scattered in the cytoplasm that is there will be no definite nucleus at that time so these are the major changes taking place during prophase so this one can be represented or explained with the help of diagram like you see first of all we are explaining with the help of animal cell human being uh, uh, in physiology we have to study about the human beings so we are taking animal cell and just at the end we will compare it with plant cell also now this is the animal cell now here it is the nucleus now further there are cytoplasmic organelles now here you see there is a clear space in which there are two bundle like structures two duplicated bundle like structures present around it that is called centrosome here is the nucleolus and then the thread like structures called chromatin fiber this is centrosome will not answer for and this is nucleus chromatin fibers chromatin fibers this is the normal stage of the cell just before going uh, for the cell division and hence this is representing in cell of interphase now in the early stage of prophase this change will take place so here again this is a nucleus nucleolus chromatin fibers and now you have you can see that is the two bundles of centrioles are formed these are centrioles and this is the beginning hence termed as early prophase early prophase but towards the end of the prophase now you know that the centrioles will gradually migrate towards opposite poles opposite poles means like this suppose at this end one centriole will be reaching at the other end another centriole will be reaching now these radiating rays like structures around the centriole is known as astral rays or esters in the big middle nucleolus gradually disappears nuclear membrane also start to disappear we can represent it by darkening this is the disappearing nuclear membrane 
in which there are condensed chromosomes are present condensed chromosomes are present further we can write like this here 2n equals to 4 chromosomes are taken and now there are spindle fibers some spindle fibers are continuous and some are intervened so you can mark here these are spindle fibers spindle fibers now this is disappearing disappearing nuclear membrane nm disappearing nuclear membrane now this point is marked as centromere centromere and if you mark these two they are chromatids chromatids we will not mark for chromosome but since the thread is marked it is not the complete structure we have separately shown centromere and so it is chromatid now this is late prophase So, here is the three stage given. This is the beginning, that is the normal stage of the cell called interphase. Then, the beginning of prophase, hence called early prophase, in which only centro centrosome has divided. And in the last, it is completing. A spindle fibers have been formed, centrioles are at opposite poles, nuclear membrane is disappearing. So, suppose diagram based question is asked. Like this question, this diagram is given in your exercise and question, uh, board question was asked. After drawing the diagram, the question is that identify the stage of cell division giving region. Then by looking for this one, we will answer prophase or late prophase and what will be the reason? The nuclear membrane is disappearing. You will not write other things like presence of a spindle fiber or so because the spindle fibers will remain present in the next stage also. So, what is the reason for this uh, naming this phase? Nuclear membrane is disappearing. So, this was the prophase. Now, next phase that is called metaphase. Metaphase. metaphase or the middle phase how is it how is the phase identified what happens in this phase just two major changes take place till now the chromosomes were scattered in the cytoplasm randomly but during this phase metaphase chromosome start to arrange themselves at equatorial plane Suppose we take a watermelon in which the seeds, let they are the chromosomes, are scattered. But when we cut it from the middle, then the plane of it will be known as equatorial plane, like this. Suppose we take watermelon and we cut like this, then this is the equatorial plane. So if all the seeds that is from upper side or lower side, if they come to lie on this phase, this is called equatorial plane. Now, so metaphase. First, the chromosomes, chromosomes, chromosomes are arranged, are arranged at equatorial plane. This is the identifying point. If the question is asked, how is this phase identified? Then we will write only this line. And as a next part, 
each chromosome get arranged by uh, get attached joined by a spindle fiber at centromere to the opposite poles so each chromosome each chromosome is joined at centromere by a spindle fiber by a spindle fiber to the opposite centrioles centrioles that is this is the diagram we have used uh, chromosomes as 2n equals to 4 2n means paired set that is the diploid cell is taken here so uh, because haploid cell does not undergo cell division so diploid cell now here suppose we draw di the diagram like this centriole now the chromosomes suppose get arranged at equatorial plane equatorial plane get attached by spindle fibers to the opposite poles now there may be some continuous spindle fiber also joining the two centrioles directly so this is the meta phase now one more question is asked that is name the phase of cell division in which chromosomes are most distinctly visible so chromosomes chromosomes are most distinctly visible distinctly visible in this stage that is meta phase because the scattered chromosome Uh, get arranged at equatorial plane which are easily visible which can be easily uh, studied so this is the question asked here now after that as a next stage here is a third stage that is called ana phase ana phase ana means away this time you see that is in meta phase after that due to contraction of a spindle fiber outward due to contraction of a spindle fiber longitudinal splitting longitudinal splitting of chromatid takes place like they are joined like this and at these two places there are the spindle fibers attached so they, when they contract outward then longitudinal splitting of chromatids take place which start at centromere due to pulling action so it starts to split like this and then finally they get separated by acquiring v j or l shapes depending upon the position of centromere if the centromere is exactly in the middle like meta centric chromosome then it will be v shape if the centromere is at uh, slightly away uh, near one end it will acquire j shape because here will be the centromere like this and if it is near uh, slightly away from the end then it will acquire almost l shape so this is the condition in ana phase due to contraction of contraction of spindle fibers spindle fibers longitudinal longitudinal splitting of chromatids take place chromatids take place 
टेक प्लेस विच स्टार्ट एट सेंट्रोमियर विच स्टार्ट एट सेंट्रोमियर नाउ दिस इज द फर्स्ट चेन दैट इज हियर द क्रोमेटिड्स लाइक क्रोमेटिड्स स्प्लीट एट सेंट्रोमियर एंड दे स्टार्ट टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम इच अदर नाउ एज अ सेकेंड चेंज क्रोमेटिड्स क्रोमेटिड्स माइग्रेट टूवर्ड्स अपोजिट पोल्स अपोजिट पोल्स बाय अक्वायरिंग बाय अक्वायरिंग भी एल और जे सेप्स जे सेप्स सो दिस इज अ मेजर चेंज लॉन्गिट्यूडल स्प्लिटिंग टेक्स प्लेस एंड क्रोमेटेड से स्टार्ट टू माइग्रेट टूअर्ड्स अपोजिट पोल्स नाउ अनदर थिंग एट द इंड ऑफ एनाखेज समटाइम्स द फरो और कंस्ट्रिक्शन स्टार्ट टू डेवलप एट द पेरीफेरी दैट इज इन सेल मेम्रेन विच इज ऑल्सो द बिगनिंग ऑफ साइटोकाइनेसिस इन द मीन टाइम so in the diagram if you study suppose you, uh, we draw it like this in that case suppose here slight constriction start to develop here sometimes a student gets can get confused due to constriction that it is a telophase but no in telophase two different nucleus is formed and spindle fibers will not be present but here the spindle fibers will remain present and chromatids migrate towards the opposite poles the vl or j shapes are acquired depending upon the position of centromeres now we have taken uh, we have taken 2n equals to 4 so four chromatids will migrate towards each pole hence you will see that is we have taken four chromosome as a whole and at the end of the cell division each cell will have four units although it is not complete chromosome but four units will be present the number remains the same and their maturation that is duplication will take place in the interphase now so this is the ana phase now next phase is the telophase next phase is the telophase telo yani terminal that is the end so the fourth phase is telophase we say that telophase is the reversal of prophase why because chromatids reach to their poles they uncoil uncondense and change into chromatin fibers astral rays and spindle fibers disappear nucleolus reappear near them and then the nuclear membrane surrounding them develop hence the two daughter nuclei are formed so this is a reversal of prophase so what are the changes chromatid chromatids on reaching on reaching to their respective poles to their respective poles poles uncoil uncondense uncondense and change into change into chromatin fibers chromatin fibers this is the first reversal next astral rays and 
स्पिंडल फाइबर्स स्पिंडल फाइबर्स डिसपियर डिसपियर नेक्स्ट न्यूक्लियोलस न्यूक्लियोलस रीएपियर नियर ईच पोल एंड फाइनली न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन सराउंडिंग देम न्यूक्लियर मेम्ब्रेन सराउंडिंग देम आर फॉर्म इज फॉर्म फॉर्म प्रोड्यूसिंग producing two daughter nuclei two daughter nuclei hence the two nucleus is nuclei are formed in which the units will be the same as that of the parent cell we have taken 2n equals to 4 then four chromosomes and each part each nucleus will have four chromatids and at the end now at periphery just we have also seen here that is at the end of um, anaphase cytoplasmic constriction start to develop but here the major change will take place at periphery cytoplasmic constriction cytoplasmic constriction constriction or furrow develops develops so as a result of telophase you will observe that in the nucleus in the cell here the cytoplasmic furrow cytoplasmic furrow growing towards the center this is the cytoplasmic furrow now here is the structure and two daughter nuclei are formed nucleolus chromatin fibers nucleolus chromatin fibers so these are the two daughter nuclei daughter nuclei which are diploid in nature now so these were the different phases of karyokinesis now students we see that that this cytoplasmic furrow gradually grows inward and divide the cytoplasm into two parts so the next phase is cytokinesis that is the division of cytoplasm cytoplasm now in this part you see the cytoplasmic constriction or the furrow furrow grows inward that is towards the center and divide divides the cytoplasm cytoplasm into two parts two parts producing producing two diploid just remember here that is the result of uh, my cyto uh, mitosis is diploid daughter cells daughter cells the division of cell organelles between the two parts take take place randomly this is not uh, essential that equal division take place the random division of cell organelle will take place and hence the two daughter cells are formed two daughter cells are formed so this is a student the mitosis cell division 
and you will just learn the specific point related to a particular part particular stage you will be able to answer everything more clearly now this was the diagram representing for the animal cell with the help of uh, um, with the help of uh, centrosome now but suppose we have to compare comparison between plant and animal animal and plant animal and plant mitosis suppose we take for animal here plant in animals esters are formed esters are formed here no esters are formed no esters are formed the reason is that absence of absence of centriole but spindle fibers are formed with the help of microtubule and microfilaments next part the cytokinesis cytokinesis takes place with the help of with the help of furrow growing towards the center towards the center that is from periphery towards the center hence we can say that cytokinesis here is centripetal so in short we can also write cytokinesis animal cell centripetal but here it takes place it takes place by cell plate by formation of cell plate formation of cell plate in the middle in the middle which grows outward that is centrifugal so in short we you can write that cytokinesis in animal cell is centripetal and in plant cell it is centrifugal that is growing from center towards the periphery and that is directed towards the periphery and the last point after cytokinesis after cytokinesis the daughter cells get separated daughter cells get separated here the daughter cells daughter cells remain joined because in plant cell if you study if this is a plant cell here cell wall cell membrane now the two daughter cells a uh, daughter nuclei are formed in the middle cell plate is formed which gradually grows outward and on reaching to the periphery cell plate so a wall is formed in the middle and hence the two daughter cells remain in contact or joined with each other so uh, students this is all about mitosis cell division in board examination diagram based questions are asked diagram for any stage of cell division will be given and what will be the question first question identify the stage of cell division giving region next whether it is animal cell or plant cell you can Uh, identify it easily with the help of uh, centriole or centrosome presence or absence 
नेक्स्ट एज अ थर्ड पॉइंट यू विल बी आस्क ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ द स्टेज फॉलोइंग इट और प्रिसीडिंग इट अर्लियर टू इट सो इफ द डायग्राम ऑफ प्रोफेज लेट प्रोफेज इज गिवेन you will draw the next diagram for metaphase if the question is asked suppose the diagram of anaphase is given then the previous stage will be metaphase so according to the question you will answer it finally at the end you can have to distinct differentiate between the mitosis and meiosis cell division on the basis of the points given in bracket like type of cells in which they are taking place the number of daughter cells produced the number of chromosomes in daughter cells and so on so after studying this this point this topic point wise you will be able to answer every question given in the exercise thanks